working on an idea to produce a vehicle which would be optimal from an energetic and ecological point of view, the author of this patent, Mr. Veljko Milković, has come up with an idea to use the mechanism of an oscillating inclined pendulum which would produce directed force. This principle has not been used in vehicles so far, at least not in vehicles known to us. As such, it presents a great innovation. This is an experimental model of a truck with an oblique physical pendulum which is mobile. The truck has no mechanism in its plain wheels, meaning there are no engine elements in wheels of this truck. When the pendulum rises, it causes motion in one direction. Even when there is no wheel mechanism. According to the action-reaction law, it should not move. But in this situation, action is used maximum and reaction is cancelled. We'll present this matter from different point of view just to make sure that it's not the table's camber in question. However, it moves in the opposite direction without any mechanism in the wheel. The centrifugal force appeals when dealing with physical pendulum and the forces resultant shows up just under the vehicle's axis while in the most distant points of oscillation the pendulum tries to turn the truck over facing the weight of the vehicle and the balance weight causing one way moving in this case here's an example of a sleigh with horizontal pendulum and alarm clock mechanism which causes oscillations in order to move the sleigh even even there is neither a wheel mechanism nor a prepare propeller. This time we also have a sleigh but with vertical oscillator and an alarm clock as well with possible moving without any usual effects. The biggest importance of such vehicle is the absence of so-called mechani transmission mechanism between the mechanism itself and the wheels, which means wide use of the vehicle. It's especially convenient for track vehicles, trains, street trains, etc. It means that it's only a straight line moving in question. It could be possible to use this vehicle for other types of transport, even for space aircraft. With faith in this idea, I tried, together with my students of Electrotechnical High School, to give several practical examples of such gravity pendulum. The results of that attempt are several examples which we'll present, which gave solutions for truck vehicles, for a sailing object and for a three-wheel bicycle only when human power was used as an engine. During many years of research, the energy enough to keep the pendulum oscillating was measured. Those measures showed that energy needed was low. In fact, the gravity potential was the main cause of oscillations with minimum impulse needed to keep the pendulum oscillating. We shall see that when we start. A great change is present on the lower measuring device while the other one on the pendulum shows no change. Simply, one can check one-way effect on the centrifugal force if one puts some balls into a plain test tube. We can make some oscillations by hand and we meet the gravity facing the force 
produced by the balls because the centrifugal force confronts the gravity successfully just by oscillating the balls within the circle. On a plane scale, we can also check the centrifugal force's effect just by standing on a scale. If it moves, then the weight changes, but if we oscillate vertical, the weight reduces and in a period of time, We can have five to six kilos less and that period can last for about 10 seconds.